Good everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, my central air quit working, and I'm going to show you how I tested and replaced the dual run capacitor. Amazon will be delivering the capacitor pretty quick, but first thing we want to do, I already diagnosed it, but you want to make sure that your power is turned off. That is the number one. And then to remove the cover to get the access, there's one screw there, one back there, and one right there. That is a little full of spider web. You know, typically these blow out or they swell, but I already discharged the power, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. This is the dicey part because uh, there's a lot of power in there. Now the capacitor is always marked but never fail to take some pictures to see how it's wired. Insulated tool, gloves. Make sure your power's off. Nothing. Sometimes you'll get a big spark sometimes not so what you're doing in this test is grounding the fan and compressor to the common and that'll discharge any power the wires off Get the capacitor out. A couple things that are most important on here is the microfarad. So we got a 535. And the second part is the voltage, 400, 440. Now, the AC is like a 220. So you could go lower voltage. The run capacitor just won't last as long. You can go higher voltage and the capacitor will last longer. But I'm gonna show you what I did to test. Now you can't see, cause it's all corroded. This terminal up top is fan. This one here is compressor. And this one here is common. The two tests we're gonna do is fan and compressor to case. And that's gonna tell us if it's shorted out. Now when I originally tested it, that was a test, one of the tests I did, and it did actually show continuity that shorted out, but now it isn't. But there's also another test that we're gonna do afterwards. So the first test we're gonna do is on the case ground. This one is the compressor. Now if you showed continuity, it'd be short. This is the fan. Continuity, it'd be short, so it's nothing. Next test we're gonna do is common to compressor and fan and it should come close to either of these readings here doesn't want to do anything swap it over to the fan see the numbers go up so doing this test, one side ran up to plus or minus 35, we actually went to 40 for the microfarads, and then the other terminal didn't, which turned out to be bad, which the first time I tested it, it had it short to ground. So it just goes to show you that when I tested it, when it first blew out, the testing actually turned out different than after it's been sitting for a few days and physically taken out. It's interesting to say the least. 
but if I take it back, compressor side, nothing, nothing, shut her down. All right, Amazon just delivered the run capacitor. It's a little bit shorter. Let's hook this thing up. Maybe we'll have some power. Got the new one all plugged in. Make sure you wire it up the same way as the other one. Screw back into place, put the cover on, let the smoke out of the wires. Let's see if we let smoke out. <coughs> Nothing yet. There we go, back in business. Put a new run capacitor in, and I am good to go. It's actually really good because it's 26 and a half degrees in the house, which is brutal. So there you have it. It's nice to have the AC back up and running. I got the dual run capacitor off Amazon for like 25 bucks, easy fix. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next one.